Uh, look what the cat dragged in. Hello, with us now? Uh -huh. I'm back. You had to come back at least for a little while. I have Alicia's to. been real busy today, supposedly, uh, but uh, she decided to rejoin us because we had to talk about our Dancing with the Anchor segment because it progresses. Do you see how tense he is right now? How frustrated he seems angry. It was doesn't a lot he? like that on the dance floor. Because he knows too. he's about to be exposed. Okay, <laughs> matter of fact, take a look right here. Mm. Today was a big day Milestone. because we actually danced together. Yeah. We took our separate lessons, brought them together, and you didn't do too bad of a job. That's Mr. a nice Leader. way of putting it. <laughs> Not too bad of a job. A backhanded compliment. Look, I'm just telling it like it is, Jason. Yeah, it was pretty accurate. Backhanded yet accurate, <laughs> summarizing this week's uh, momentous installment of Dancing with the Anchors, which is our much lower budget, less skilled version of ABC's Dancing with Gosh, the Stars. Jason, you sell us so strongly there. Okay, so if you've been following for several weeks, we've been practicing separately in our own corners, if you will, with our individual coaches. Jason's been with Elaine. I've been with Ramiro at the Rhythm Room Ballroom Dance Studio on Greenville. And again, this was the first time Jason and I actually put it together, and it doesn't look too bad. There. We were swinging together there. Uh, it was really odd, though, for both of us to adjust to a new partner. Alicia handled it by being encouraging. I handled it by totally losing my concentration. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Good job. Nice, Jason. There you go. One, two, three. Ooh, check you out. Nice. Step, point, point. Very good, Jason. Four, five, six. I don't know what we're doing. I'm ahead. I'm sorry, I need to slow down. Five, uh, I don't know why I'm doing that. Five, six. <laughs> okay, God. I didn't realize I was that encouraging. It's almost like patronizing. Kind of Jason. embarrassing. But yeah. look, I was helping you out. I had your back there. Sure, you were. Uh, in the end, we did start to work out the kinks. We also talked very cordially about how each one of us is kind of holding the other person back. Just something that you've talked about in lessons past, and that is that she has a tendency to want to leave. And it's, it's, it is, it's hard to lead her because like when you're going to turn her, she'll pull your hand up. Right. And it's like, no, 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 not yet. Oh. I will do that. So it is interesting. In my defense, <laughs> I was encouraged oh. to sort of lead from behind, yes. like lead in the shadows, I probably if you need will. A little of that. So I'm just trying to nudge you just a little bit, <laughs> anticipating what it is that you want to do. And it worked out. I needed some nudging, <laughs> yeah. It helped. All that mm. smack talk about dancing and leading and stuff, once you start leading, it's then I'll let you do your thing, it Jason. It is harder than it looks. Mm -hmm. And especially when you, you know, you get the comments. I got a comment from somebody that it looked like my hips were stiff. We'll work on that. Golly. You know, just loosen them up a little bit. My hips don't hurt nearly as bad as my ego now. Practice makes perfect, Jason. Uh, okay, so we've been doing this for several weeks. We're going to stay at mm -hmm. it. Uh, it continues. Uh, we're going to keep on doing this for a few more weeks as uh, Dancing with the Stars, like the real ones, uh, wraps up. We will as well. So we'll be swinging together once again. And now she left me again. Her whole work day was just that.